Would you like to take your sales team to the next level using the latest tools, processes, and principles in value-added selling? Value-added selling means we don't sell on price, we sell on value. And the world of value-added selling has changed dramatically pre-pandemic and post-pandemic. In fact, the response to the pandemic did more for professional selling than any other event that I can recall. Sales is changing, it's changing rapidly. And the way we are responding to it is with something called X-selling. X-selling means we help the customer sell themselves. Customers want to sell themselves. And our job as professional salespeople is to facilitate that process. Think about it. When your customers want to buy something, they probably go to Amazon. Who are the salespeople at Amazon? The customers, the buyers. When you and I go, we type in what we want in the window, and Amazon doesn't present one alternative, they present many alternatives. And then you and I, knowingly or unknowingly, do a value-added feature benefit analysis. We start looking at the different options and which features and which benefits appeal most to us. Then we do a qualified and quantified cost justification. Here are two that I've narrowed it down to. One costs more than the other. What would I get from having the more expensive item? We also reveal our buying motivation when we go to Amazon. If we narrow it down to two, and this is our first choice, but it's gonna take a week to get it, and this is our second choice, I can have it this afternoon or tomorrow, I go with this one if it's a need buy. If it's a want or desire buy, then I will delay the gratification. So customers are used to selling themselves. There are now tools available that can facilitate how your salespeople make virtual sales calls. They fall under the heading of Viva, Virtual Interactive Value Added Selling. Virtual, because that's the way we're selling many of the occasions now. Interactive is the key, value added selling. What are the five senses? And how many of those senses could you use on a face-to-face -face call? Probably all five. How many of those senses could you use on a phone call? Only one. And that's sound. They talk, we hear, we talk, they hear. But how many could you use on a call like this, a virtual call where there's video? Well, obviously there's sight and sound. How could we add a third sensation, a third sense? It's called sensory selling. It's touch. And we do that by creating interactive tools, which is what we teach. How do you create an interactive PowerPoint, an interactive Word document, an interactive PDF, an interactive video? How do we create other multimedia that the customer can listen to or watch at their leisure? How do we make more customer touches using technology and therefore present our product, our service, our company, and ourselves better than the competition is doing? Viva is one process inside the X selling family. There's also blended selling, building the tools. There's also collaborative selling, being able to involve our cohorts in our company in making an even better presentation. There's supply chain selling, where we don't sell to the customer, we sell through the customer to help them sell their customers more. Would your customers stay with you if you were helping them sell more to their customers? Of course they would. There's Kaizen for sales, bringing the principles of lean into the sales department. So much is changing in sales right now. Keeping up is always going to be an effort and the changes are happening faster now than ever before. You see, the best product doesn't win, the best service doesn't win, the best company doesn't win, and the best salesperson doesn't win. The best story wins. So how do, you, how do your salespeople communicate a better story than what your competitors are communicating to your same contacts? That's what X selling is all about. That's what Viva brings to the table. The single most important function of sales is to teach, teach others.